I got my welfare check in the mail today. And along with it, free tickets to the Tank Davis fight. Well, under one condition. So long as I donate $20 to David Benavides's heavyweight welfare fund. So, uh, Leonard Ellerby, Smellerby, it's got to be one of the worst, is he a promoter? One of the worst promoters out there, right? So much as I hear about this or that fighter and needing to learn English in order to promote himself in the United States, I mean, how the fuck does Smellerby get away? Not speaking the English language. Very good. Hmm? Yeah. Just a very unlikable character, right? Ever since he made an appearance on the world stage massaging Floyd Mayweather's tits in that corner of whatever fight it was, whispering sweet nothings in his ear, right? Yeah, not a very likable character. He could barely speak English. And the shit that he says is just, well, pretty dumb, right? Okay, I expect I expect him to. He's in tremendous shape. We know Derek got him in great shape because Derek's a phenomenal trainer. He's talking about Frank Martin now, right? So he looks he looks good on all the promo packages, right? Basically, and you know, Leonard's a little, you know, he's sweet. Come on, the whole the whole side of the street, let's call it. A lot of sugar in them tanks on that side of the street for sure. So, you know, oh, whatever. Well, let's be real. Let's be real. Let, yeah, let's. Let's be real, guys. You know what I mean? Okay, for starters, in, in 2017, do you know what Tank was doing? Tank became world champion. Uh, smacking hoes? You know what Frank Martin was doing? He wasn't even professional yet. Oh, he wasn't even... Come on, man, this dude's gay as fuck. <laughs> okay, so Tank is, like, way up there, wherever you imagine, Leonard. And Frank Martin, somewhere on the on the bottom, yeah? Okay, so one thing about this boxing shit, you can't skip steps. How the fuck would he know anything about boxing? He's a, he's a fluffer. He's Floyd Mayweather's former. He's graduated now, right? He's struck out on his own. But that's how, he, that's how he started in the business, right? Floyd Mayweather's personal fluffer. It's something what we call experience. And you gain that over a period of time. Oh, all right. Well, we didn't know that, right? Are fighting the top fighters and doing your thing. Again, I can't say enough about what I personally think that Frank's a good. He he looks good with his shirt off, right? But he doesn't have a chance in this fight, right? This is this is a promoter. And by the pay per view, guys, it's a complete fucking mismatch. Cause Tank don't ever fight anybody. He cherry picks all his fighters at the right time, right? I mean, the truth is, as proved to you many, many times over with film studies, it's undeniable now. You, you could cry about it. You could deny it. Cognitive dissonance is a bitch. Have at it. I don't give a shit. Right? The truth is far more severe, crushing, terrible than what he's about to tell you, which is probably why to him saying, you know, basically shitting all over this promotion, exposing Tank as a cherry picker, right? It's actually giving them praise because the reality is far worse than that, right? The fights are fixed. But this fucking guy is supposed to be promoting the fight, right? He's like, oh, I'm, I'm picking my guy because I got to go with my guy. But, but you know the type of spiel that promoters do. But, you know, Frank Martin is one hell of a fighter. I mean... He's done good things in the sport. He's got a great future. I mean, look at that. A 
pack, you know, things of that nature. So I'll be on the edge of my seat rooting for Tank, and I, I think he'll pull it out, but man, it's going to be one of his toughest fights ever. Buy them tickets, suckers, right? Not only is he a garbage promoter, he's saying some of the things, because the truth is really unspeakable to, to these people, on that platform at least. Right? He's saying some of the things a lot of us have been saying forever. But when we say it, you know, y'all hate <laughs> Leonard Ellerby's telling you that this is a fucking cherry pick. The guy ain't ready. And that's why they picked him. But more than that, this is, now don't get me wrong here, I'm not talking about skills, abilities, right, talent. But this is another, another Rolly Romero, right? This guy was literally, in my opinion, groomed as a tank opponent. From the moment they noticed him, picked him out of the crowd, Helped him out along the way, just like Roley in some of these fights that he shouldn't have won, right? Propped him up just to feed him the tank. Probably giving him fake fights along the way just so he wouldn't get too good anyway, right? Didn't really build him up, really, as far as popularity or anything, just... They've been producing these, these tank opponents, right? Because as they told you a long, long time ago, they've been trying to keep all this shit in-house in from beginning to end. And this, I don't know what to call it, insecurity, low IQ, all of the above. This just doesn't even... Maybe it's some twisted sense of, uh, what do I want to say, obligation to, to tell some truth. Not the whole truth, but some truth, right? Leonard Ellerby is over here shitting all over this fight, exposing Tank as a fucking cherry picker. You know what I mean? Well, while he's supposed to be promoting this fight, saying that his opponent ain't ready. So, thanks for the fucking welfare check and the tickets but I won't be attending <laughs>